Hi, I'm Pete with Bantam Tools, and I'm gonna show you how to install the Bantam Tools desktop CNC low profile vise, and I'll also show you a couple powerful features. First, let's take a look at the parts. The Bantam Tools desktop CNC low profile vise is made of two steel jaws, a stationary jaw and an adjustable floating jaw. Both jaws feature an inner step and an outer step. These are great for when you're working with thin stock or only have a small amount of stock you can grip. The stationary jaw has eight screw holes where you can attach the optional Bantam Tools low profile vise end stop. The end stop creates a fixed alignment point so you can remove and replace stock without the need to reprobe. Both the stationary jaw and the adjustable jaw feature size M6 screw holes for screw mounting. This is how you would attach the optional Bantam Tools desktop CNC aluminum soft jaws. Creating custom soft jaws allows you to better hold round or uniquely shaped parts. The Bantam Tools desktop CNC aluminum soft jaws could also be used for production runs where consistent placement is key. Looking at the stationary jaw, you'll notice there are four dowel pin holes. When you mount the Bantam Tools desktop CNC low profile vise on the Bantam Tools desktop CNC fixturing pallet, these dowel pin holes will allow you to quickly get the vise aligned. The Bantam Tools desktop CNC low profile vise is also perfectly at home on the standard T-slot bed using T-nuts to hold it in place. Now, one of the most exciting features of the Bantam Tools desktop CNC low profile vise isn't even built into the vise. It's built into the Bantam Tools desktop milling machine software. I'll tell you more about that in a moment, but first, Let's get this installed. If you're using the Bantam Tools desktop CNC fixturing pallet, simply screw the stationary jaw into place with the provided screws. It's designed to go in either the X or Y direction. If you're using dowel pins, put those down first. Then set the stationary jaw into place and screw it down. And when using the T-slot bed, remove the T-nuts from the toe clamps and the alignment bracket that ship with the Bantam Tools desktop CNC milling machine. Place a screw through the slot on each end of the stationary jaw then loosely attach the T-nuts to the screws and slide the stationary jaw into place. A good technique for easier alignment is to use a parallel or a one, two, three block to align the stationary jaw, then tighten the screws fully. The Bantam Tools milling machine software is designed to work seamlessly with the Bantam Tools desktop CNC low profile vise. And one of the powerful features that puts you in control is the included alignment routine. Load a probe into the Bantam Tools desktop CNC milling machine and perform a tool touch off. Then launch the Bantam Tools desktop CNC low profile vise location routine and follow the on-screen prompts. This routine will help you align the stationary jaw. If your alignment is off, the prompts will tell you and tell you by how much. You can hit back, make adjustments, then probe again. Once complete, you can load your stock and place the adjustable jaw. Make sure it's snug against the stock, then screw it down. Finally, use the adjustment screw in the front to fully clamp your stock. Indicate if the stock is installed on the bed, in the inner step, or the outer step. Then use any regular stock location routines. The visualization and stock location will update accordingly. For even more information and written guides, you can visit our website, bantamtools.com. And if you want to share what you're working on or just want to say hi, you can find us on social at Bantam Tools. As always, thank you and happy milling.